In this video I'm going to show you the Captures tab and how to create capture profiles within Sol. So once you're on the Captures tab, simply click the blue plus icon at the top to create a new capture profile. It will ask you to give the capture profile a name. You can name it whatever you want. However, I suggest knowing what Gmail you're going to sign into on this capture profile and name it something that will make this recognizable so you can differentiate all of your capture profiles. Once you've given it a name, click the blue create button and you'll have created this capture profile and you'll have these five options on the right. The first option is solver type. This is simply the type of capture that this solver will be using. You can change this at any time using the drop down so it doesn't actually matter which you select. You can just change it at the time of the release dependent on what solver that release needs. The first is V2 solver. This will be used most of the time. This is just a normal capture which is the I'm not a robot capture that you might be used to. This is used for the likes of Shopify. The next one is a V3 solver. This is for recapture V3. This is used on the likes of Adidas and Yeezy Supply. These are the captures that you don't actually have to solve, but you have to have a harvester open to solve recaptures. You also have to make sure that these Gmails are a 0.9 score, otherwise you won't pass the splash page. Next is a checkpoint solver. This is the same as a V2 solver with the I'm not a robot captures, but it allows you to differentiate them only into checkpoints. So this is useful for a Shopify drop where you can have a checkpoint solver open for your checkpoints and then a normal V2 solver for the checkout captures. Next is a H capture solver. These are for H captures which are currently used on Off-White. Next is a question solver. This is used for Shopify. This is for sites such as Haven and Eric Emanuel where they ask a question before you can add to cart. So you'll have to have a question solver open and if you're running a task on a site that requires a question, the question will appear in the question solver and you'll be able to type it in. Next is SMS solver. This is used for off-white as well. This is when you'll have to get an SMS code texted to your phone and you'll have to enter this code for your tasks to be able to add to cart. Next are Chrome V2, Chrome V3 and Chrome checkpoint solvers. They're the same as the normal V2, V3 and checkpoint solvers, but instead of being in the bots capture browser, they're in a Chrome browser. These are often useful because Chrome might get better capture scores. So for a, especially for a V3, this would be useful. Uh, so you can choose whether to use these Chrome ones if you want. The second option is a solver proxy. This is the proxy IP that will be used on this capture profile. If you use programs such as AYCD to farm Gmails and you use specific proxies in there, you'll want to use the same proxies within Sol to make the IP consistent. The more consistent an IP is on a Gmail, it can get better scores and better captures, so you'll want to try and keep this proxy the same if you do use a proxy with your Gmail. Simply paste it in here and click save. The th third option is open on startup. This is simply a tick on or tick off option. Open on startup means that this capture harvester profile will open automatically when you open the bot. So even if you close and reopen the bot, it will open this capture harvester profile when it opens. If you only have a couple of capture profiles that you tend to use every time you're using the bot, you can have this ticked and it means you won't have to navigate to the captures tab each time you load Sol, as the harvesters will already be open. If you have a lot more harvesters and you use certain ones for certain things and you want to be able to open the ones you want yourself, you can keep this ticked off and you'll just be able to come and open the ones you want yourself. The last two options are YouTube and Gmail login. The Gmail login is simply for you to log into the Gmail you want on this capture profile. Simply hit the open Gmail button, a browser will open and you can sign into the Gmail here. Once you've signed in you can simply click the cross and you shouldn't need to do this again because once signed in you will stay signed in on this capture profile. And the last option here is YouTube, open YouTube. This again opens a browser. You would be signed in already if you've already signed in via the open Gmail button and you can simply watch YouTube within this browser. This can be useful before a drop because if you watch YouTube before a drop on this capture profile to generate some activity, you can get better scores and better captures at the time of the drop because you're on an active Gmail. So now that I've showed you the options on the right and you will have logged into your Gmail and set these options, I'll demonstrate opening the capture harvester. To open the capture harvester, go to the left pane and you can click the blue open button on the harvester you want to open. It'll simply open the harvester as so and be ready and waiting to solve a capture. You'll see statuses in this left pane as well showing which solver type you've selected from the right along with it being waiting for a capture or solving and then the IP that it's 
currently on, whether you've set that within the solver proxy. You can also change some of these options within the Capture Harvester. So if it's drawing a drop and you don't want to have to navigate to the Captures tab because you're looking at your tasks, you can change the solver type from the settings at the top and also if you want to change the proxy that you're on. If you're within a drop and the capture gets stuck or if it was too difficult or if you want to get rid of that capture, you can simply click the reload button at the bottom. A couple of other things to note are you can log out of the Gmail within this capture profile at any time by clicking the red reset button on the right pane. You can rename that capture profile by clicking the white pencil icon simply change it to what you want to call it and click the blue save button and you can also totally delete this capture profile by pressing the red trash icon.